So this is the one? Yes, Lieutenant. Thank you. Dismiss. So you must be the great little Bill. Not so great, after all. You're nothing but an absolute disgrace. Even looking at you is just vile. Why won't you answer? You know what? I'll find out what you're up to myself. And whatever you're planning won't work, you're in the most secure prison far away from Plotagon City. Good luck is keeping. Little Bill is planning something, I think he is planning to escape. That's impossible, Lieutenant. No one has ever escaped our facility. It's far too secure. Maybe, but this boy is a true mastermind. Get it all and working guards down here right now. But, Lieutenant. Now. Hello, get all units down here now. Ah, uh, my knees. Guards, help. Help. Guards, incident at cell block 16B. Are you okay? I don't know, I think it hurts. I need, I need. What do you need? Freedom. So long, son. We have an escaping prison. All guards get down to the B block now. Yo, kid, let me out of here, too. Hum, how about? No. And I know you're innocent. Bye bye. What is happening? Little Bill, he escaped from his cell. Oh, my God. Someone catch him. You're surrounded. You have nowhere to hide. If this is the most secure prison in the country, they would let anyone escape these days. You won't get away with this, you brat. Freeze. Oh my god, it stinks. Now it's a shut down the whole of the prison. Please tell me this isn't happening. Well, you're not dreaming. Tara, start the car. Thank you, my dear friend. You're welcome, Master. Next stop. Plotagon City, for unfinished business. Yeah. Woohoo. Lieutenant. Vicky. I'm telling you, if we don't do something soon, he is going to take over Plotagon City again. Sources say it's not just Plotagon City, but starting small steps with other cities in other countries. But the United States is already on high alert from Little Bill and his clan. And now you are telling me that his clan is international. Everyone, this is Lieutenant Darla. Gentlemen. No disrespect, Lieutenant. But I don't think we need a woman to solve this. And a man who wears a wig is? I have been exploring Little Bill's history in his hometown. And I think I know how to take him and his clan down. Go ahead, mistress. What is your big plan this time? Lieutenant, thank you. Well, I propose that we play fire by fire. And what do you mean by that? We should hire some of the baddest, meanest, spoiled people to take him down. You mean like Suicide Squad? Yes, exactly. And who exactly are these bad people you're referring to? I'm glad you asked. These are the files of all these teenagers. Together they can achieve horrible things but in a useful way. 
First, we got Annie Warbucks and Tracy Beaker. Long lost sisters who recently found each other. Once they scratch the chalkboard while other students' ears bleed. My ears. Make it stop. What? What? Annie Warbucks and Tracy Beaker. How dare you scratch your dirty nails on the chalkboard? I had a pedicure last night. Where did I put those nail clippers? No, 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 no. They got suspended. Two sisters? Really? I'm not done yet. Next we have Candace Flynn. Mother and daughter, she becomes an absolute control freak. One time she snatched a remote control from her mother, so she can watch her own television show. Mom, I hate this show. Change the channel. No, this my house, my rules. And grounds her. Ha 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 ha. I got the remote. Please tell me that was a joke. No. Next we got Eliza Thornberry and Jimmy Neutron. Eliza and Jimmy are nothing but smart asses and geeks. They can be useful for their smartness. However they are used for evil purposes. Poor Eliza, lost her adopted brother, which leads me to her brother's murderer, Miguel. An openly gay man from Mexico who got arrested before for manslaughter of another gay man. Visited him about a couple of weeks ago, he seemed changed somehow. Like a butterfly. I didn't know that I have a stalker staring in my cell. Very funny. I was going to make an immigration joke, but I'd rather not take it too far, like you did for the murder of Donnie Thornberry. Leave me alone. I know what I did. I did it out of fear and denial. i rather suffer. Prisoners don't change, just look at little Bill. I believe in change, I mean look at me, smoking drugs at 16, and now a lieutenant. Next we have Rosie. Rosie may look sweet and weak but also devious. She called her own father Sugar Daddy. Hey Sugar Daddy. Oh. My. Freaking. God. What? Go to your room. I saved the horrible for last, they are a couple. One of them always crying for having untied shoelaces, one of them always have suspicious items in their backpack. Huh? Backpack my ass. Their names are Caillou and Dora the Explorer. Horrible tyrants, they both as a couple always get in trouble. Ha 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 ha. One time they used sleeping pills on their parents so they can go on a date. Here is your drink, father. Wow, thank you, Caillou. I feel a bit. Good night. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Let's go, my sweet. Floor it, Caillou. Floor it. How dare they drug me to sleep and take my car for a spin? Now I have to use Rosie's preschool car. Trouble behind us. Keep going. Caillou an ugly tart. Stop! Go away, Boris. You're ruining our date. Throw fruit in it. Wasting healthy food. He is going down. Yeah. Wahoo. Caillou, we're gonna. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Are we putting the lives of millions of people over eight spoiled teenagers? That is the plan. What happened last time when Caillou tricked him at Town Hall? Well, he can't do it again. He won't trust Caillou now. Well, I believe there is some way to get those freaks to stop him. They are our only chance to save Plotagon City, maybe the world. What option have we got? Excellent. Oh, and call Vice President of Plotagon City and get him to safety. Lieutenant, what is the odds of these teenagers defeating Little Bill by 10 billion? One. Even number one makes a difference, and these teenagers will not fail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Need 
what's to say I'm keeping her in check She was all bad, bad Nevertheless Count it quits now Baby, I'm a wreck Crash at my place Baby, you're a wreck Thinking in a bad way Losing your grip Screaming at my face Baby, don't trip Someone took a big O Don't know how that felt Looking at you sideways Party on tilt Ooh, 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 ooh. Some things you just can't you? refuse She wanna drive me How you? Ugh, yeah I thought I told you to come down and have breakfast Great Why can't I stay at home? Save the last toast for me Too late Ha ha, he doesn't know I stole his toast Just give me my toast please All the toast is gone Have this tinned soup with alphabets on them Yuck. I think I'll pass. By mom and dad, by loser. Wait, Caillou. Rosie can't walk to school on her own. Wait. Haha, <laughs> loser. Morning, Miss Hannigan. Morning, Caillou. Morning, Candace. And little Sabrina. Morning, Caillou. Say hi to everyone for me. Will do. Surprise. Hey, Dora. Hey, cutie. Let me guess tough morning. Ha, huh? you don't know the half of it. Everyone ate my toast and offered me to eat into alphabet soup. That's nothing new. My mom ate my lunch by mistake, and then my dinner, then supper. I ate nothing for a whole day basically. I swear, when I move out, I won't have to deal with the problem of them three anymore. Well, we should start planning then, I mean it's nearly graduation. Any thoughts? Well, Los Angeles is nice. Ooh and Paris, Paris I always wanted to go since I was a little girl. Didn't you ask your mom to go? Nope, she forced me to never leave this country again. Plus, I'm on probation for Ferb's murder. Ah, right. Hey, Caillou. See you at the science fair. Right then. Wait a minute. What science fair? Um, the one that's happening today. I can't believe I forgot, and I don't even have a science project. Well, it's too bad you can't stop the science fair. See ya. Stop the science fair? Thank you, Eliza, for saving worthless time. Ha 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 I've been planning everything during Mrs. Hall's lessons about gynecology. I want my beautiful girlfriend to help me spoil nerds' fun. Evil, but fun. But aren't you afraid? Stop being afraid of yourself. The only thing to be afraid of is fear itself. Says the boy who has no fear. I'm in on this. Excellent. Get the others help too. So you see class, touching breasts is not okay. It really is not. Are you done? You've been talking about breasts for hours. I am not done. Thanks Caillou. Which comes to our science fair. Now hands up if you got your project today. Everyone, wow. I feel sorry for those poor saps that forgot their project. Well I guess that's all counted for, you may set up your projects now. Mrs. Hall, my project is a bit too big, may I get it out of my locker? If it fits in your locker? I guess so. Hey Jimmy. Thank you for teaching me about building mechanical flying machines. No biggie. I'm just so glad I taught you. Mrs. Hall, thank you for making this science fair happen today. My pleasure. We got loads of entries this year. Well, this one looks interesting. And what's your science project, Dolly? It is the Earth's fuel energy. You see we got a bunch of Earth or manure, and when you use it as power supply, or fuel rather, it makes it fly. Oh wow, that is wonderful. I see first prize in your grasp. Not really, 
It stinks. Oh. Dora? Dora, can you hear me? Oh yes, sorry Caillou. Apology granted, what's everyone doing? Well, everyone's just standing with their projects. Jenny and Mrs. Hall are judging their projects and I'm just standing here like a Michelangelo statue. Okay, I need you to connect the USB I gave you to the science lab's computer. I don't know what you're planning Caillou, but it sounds hot. I'm going to the computer now. Okay, let me know when you connected the USB. Okay. Where's the USB hole? Is it the thick one or this thin one here? The thin one. Okay. It's not budging. Dora, Come on, and really insert push the USB. Of junk. Are you Come doing on. it the other way? It is the right way oh, round. For this sake. stupid thing won't get in. I finally did it. It is now time for the peace law resistance. <laughs> 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 Mission accomplished, my dear. <laughs> Who did this? Whoever is responsible for this appalling act will be in deep, deep trouble. Has anyone seen Caillou? Oh no. Caillou. You called Jenny? Oh my, Jenny, what is wrong with you? I thought you were so ho-ho better than that. Hi you, how freaking dare you ruin the science fair and embellish me with false images? That is so freaking it. I'm calling your parents right freaking now. Oh no, it's Caillou's dad. God bless on Caillou's soul. I am here. Now what has Caillou done this time? Don't listen to her, she's lying. Silence. Now Jenny, tell me everything. It's the worst thing Caillou ever did. Caillou had a USB with a fake image of me twerking, and then showed it to everyone completely ruining the science fair. You did what? It was only to be an excuse to get out of the science fair. I hate that kind of nerdy thing. God, Caillou, what is wrong with you? Hey, that rhymes. You know what else rhymes with Caillou? You, getting punishments. Let's go home. Wait, Caillou, there is no other tricks you did, is there? Well, there is one more. Yep, that's everything. What was that? Well, at least no one is injured. How? Can someone help me? I cannot believe you're my son. This is low even for you. Is this what you want? Embarrass your own family. No. I can't hear you. No, Dad. Doris, what do you have to say about this? I say, how could you? Ow, that hurts. Rosie, what do you make of this? I say Caillou is so going to hell. Oh shut up you ginger nut biscuit. Probably adopted because of you having the only ginger genes in our family. Caillou, apologize this instant. No. Oh my god my blood pressure. That is so it, you are grounded. grounded. Excuse me. I'm grounded. Just like yesterday, and the day before that and the day before that. Your point being? My point is that all you ever do is ground me, sometimes for stupid reasons, and I just had enough of it. Well, if you wasn't a spoiled brat, you wouldn't be getting grounded a lot. How dare you say no, that? No, you don't get to speak. Look at yourself, Caillou. You're whiny, arrogant, immature, and irresponsible. That's not true. I'm certainly not Pinocchio. I know what kind of person you are, Caillou. I have had enough of this. Don't you dare walk away from your father, young man. I have no father. Well, that was dramatic. Gra, gra, gra. Never mind, son. 
you did your best. I thought I'd get grounded for failing you. Not my boy. You're the best dad. We are standing here live at Plotagon High School, where 16-year-old student Caillou Anderson set up a quite failed prank at a school. An explosion had been set accidentally at the science lab department during a science fair, but luckily no fatality. We speak to the principal of the school, Jenny Zuma. Jenny, anything you like to say? Yes, I got something to say. To the person who did this, how can a young man do this to people with bright future and parents who love them? Just because you're failing in life, don't expect others to give sympathy. So I got one thing to say to you, Caillou. Are you happy now? So, uh, that was Jenny Zuma with quite strong words about Caillou Anderson. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. This is Jessica No Lasna reporting from Plotagon High. Hello. Caillou, it's me, Dora. Oh, hey, Dora. Listen, I'm really sorry that I didn't stand up for myself, too. I made you take all the blame. Forget about it. Just not in a good mood. You got grounded, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, Caillou, I'm so sorry. Everything is my fault, isn't it? I'm a horrible girlfriend. What the? Remember when- Sorry? Lights just flickered. That's strange. Yeah, my lights are flickering, too. Yours, too? What's happening? Sorry Dora, I'm going to have to call you back. What is that? Broken lights or something? Uh, 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 uh. What is going on? I hear noises outside. The whole city lights are out? What's all the commotion? Oh. My. God. The lights. Everybody, we are closing early tonight. Dora, come downstairs. Mom, I'm here. Now go back upstairs and come back down until I call you again. Halt. Miss me? It. It can't be. Oh, it is Flynn. It is. Now step aside. Or what, you bald asshole? Well, I could go to your house and pay your daughter a visit. Don't you dare go near Sabrina. Touch her or I will. You'll what? Send me back to jail. Oh, how wrong you are. Now step aside. Let me enter my domain. Step aside. Thank you. You're now excused of police duty. Where is the vice mayor? He is safe, away from you. Then you're no good to me. You're excused from police work. In fact, the whole police department is excused. You can't do that. And how dare you sit on the mayor's office? You have no right to do so. I'm mayor now. So shut your mouth or prepare for prison. Where is the vice mayor? Go to hell. Right, lifetime in prison then, take her away. Now, Supreme Leader. What is your first command? Recruit a new police service. And also bring me a TV crew. What the hell? Good evening, Plotagon City. What the? Is that little Bill? How the hell did he escape from prison? He is Little Bill. He is a true mastermind. What the hell does he actually want? I hope me and my army hasn't disturbed the public. Tonight is victory among the Bill clan, and our priority is to serve everyone of our wonderful city. Ha! Huh. Serve the city, my ass. You're destroying this city. But, enjoy it while it lasts, citizens, for you only got three days until this city is completely destroyed. What? Oh my god! This is horrible. If anyone ever thinks of leaving the city, we'll be executed. There are guards around the border, so don't think about it. 
And if anyone sees the following people, Tracy Beaker, Annie Warbucks, Jimmy Neutron, Eliza Thornberry, Candace Flynn, Rosie Anderson, Dora Marquez, and Caillou Anderson, will report them to me now. If you do not comply, you will face the wrath of our clan. So, I hope everyone is feeling all cozy with them. Under new management. Sweet dreams, plot a good city. Oh my god. I'm not letting that evil boy take my children. Mom, I'm so frightened. Let's all stay calm. Why is everyone so afraid? Little Bill don't scare me. Nothing scares you, Caillou. Exactly. So do we have shelter just in case a nuclear bomb is dropped on us? Caillou. Sorry. We might as well get you to safety before they... What the hell? Caillou and Rosie Anderson, we are the security agents. We are here to get you to safety. Rosie, we need to go. Mom, Rosie is freaked out about the stranger in the room. Wait. Where are you taking them? To safety, away from Little Bill. They will be with Lieutenant Darla. Wait, let me come with them. Okay, sir. Just one parent. Boris, are you crazy? I won't let you risk your life. What if I'm left alone? I'll be back, Doris. I promise. Bye, Doris. Dora, come with us. Where are you taking her? She has bipolar. Don't worry, we need her for special use to save Plotagon City. Annie, come with us. Good luck. Please be careful. I want Jeremy. Be a good girl. Mama. Bye, guys. Be safe. Hey. Wake up. Who are you? We need your daughters. I'm here. Ah, get out of my bedroom. Come with us, Eliza. What's going on? We will be back. Stay calm. Young man, come with us. I wasn't looking at Pornhub, I swear. Jimmy, promise me you'll come home. See you later, Mom. We e e e. Dora? Caillou. You're here too. Where are they taking us? I don't know, but I can't wait. Welcome, Lieutenant Darla will see you shortly. Who? Just don't do anything stupid. Look, they got the Model 7 SV computer. It's really advanced and rare. They use Model 8 SU computers as well. Um. Hi, Eliza. What is this idiot doing here? I've been sent here, like you guys. Well then, just don't come near me. Sorry. What is going on? I've been told to come here as well. Me too. And me. If Secret Services want us, it's probably something we've done. We need to protect ourselves. I hear someone coming. Annie grabbed me that broom. Who is there? Kai, you calm down? It has to be the lieutenant. Shh, they are coming. Ah. Careful, Sonny. You might hurt someone with that. Please, sit. Hi, I'm Caillou's father, Boris. Please to meet. And I care why? Just sit down. What is going on? Why did you bring us here? Who the hell are you people? We're nobody. Basically, we don't exist. We are the highest security prison in California, where Little Bill has escaped our facility. Okay, so why do you need us exactly? We know what each and every one of you did in the past few years. We know that you steal, lie, destroy, and hate. Now it is time to right those wrongs. And how do we do that? Well, 
We need you to save Plotagon City, and the world from Little Bill's army. We need you all to become heroes. <laughs> that was golden. You see, we are not heroes, we never will be. We always like a little bit of mischief. Well, you young man, are going to help me, whether you like it or not. I think you got the wrong people, so we are going back to Plotagon City. Oh really? Do go ahead, leave. But I got your criminal activity on here. Look, 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 all the things you've done in the past, wow, the total is worth 89,000 life sentences. Wouldn't want this leak to the authorities. Him? So? Your move, Caillou. What do you want us to do? I want you all to pay attention, I'm only going to say this once. Our mission? travel around the world to stop Little Bill's army getting supplies that could destroy mankind, we must also keep our Vice Mayor Farsi safe. Complete the mission you will be rewarded, fail the mission you will be jailed. Anyone who ever thinks of harming Vice Mayor, I'll kill every single one of you. Do not mess with our agency, we bring justice. What? That's it? You're going to get us killed. Caillou, shut up and listen to the woman. Like I'm taking advice from you, Boris. Enough. So, are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Everyone take these outfits from the box. What? Stop making faces at my girlfriend. I wasn't. Everyone's disguises look amazing. Now there is no time to lose, our death will be here. Question, if you are one of the most secure prisons in the world, why did you let little Bill escape? I didn't do it, it was part of his plan. Once little Bill is captured again, we will put him in a stray jacket. Now off my seat, so you must be wondering where we are going. Nor I know you're on probation, but no need to worry, I sent an exception letter. Well I'm relieved. Our first destination, Shanghai, China, where Bill Clan is collecting nuclear supplies from there. Second destination, Paris, France, where Bill Clan is stocking food and alcohol supplies. Thirdly, Plotagon City, where he is stealing banks of money and weapons, and his main clan source. Any questions? Wait a minute. We're going to Paris? France? That's the plan. To get rid of Bill Clan's supply of food and alcohol. You know what? I'm ready to begin our mission. Before we do, there is someone that you all haven't met yet. Guys, this is Device Mayor, Pretty Farsi. Hello everybody. Vice Mayor Farsi, it is an honor to meet you, and I'm glad you are joining me on the mission today. He. He. Who's the shrub? Um. Vice Mayor Farsi, who might you be young man? The name's Lou. Caillou. Oh my god. Freddy, is your jet prepared? Yes it is, just out there. Oh my god. That jet looks amazing. This jet does have two compartments, made of wood, from the Botswana jungle. Uh, yeah. This jet has everything, it has a martini closet. Homie look, there's a FaceTime screen. We can call home. Don't. We don't want little Bill to know we're here. Sorry, I didn't think. My seat feels wet. Yeah, someone pissed their pants. Is everybody ready? Ready. 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 Three, 
Two. One. Let's save our city. We're flying Eliza. We're flying. I think I'm going to be sick. Look how high we are. I think we're leaving the West Coast. Shanghai. Paris. Plotagon City. 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 Come on, Vaminos. Everybody let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Where are we going? Plotagon City. 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 Can someone please shut her up? How about you shut up? You must be wondering why we're in smart clothing and in a casino in China. Yes, I am. Well, the Shanghai unit of the Bill Clown come here every other night, so I'm going to let you do what you got to do. I don't follow. You see that guy there? Uh, yeah. Well, he is the leader of Shanghai's unit. So I want you to go up to him and do what you got to do. I'm so dead. Hey you. Huh. Uh. Would you like to play a little game of poker? Hey, I am China's best poker player, so before I whoop your ass, are you sure you want to go through this? Oh I am positive. What have I done? Come on then, first round of drinks on me. Get him to bet the nuclear codes. I got this. Freddy, may I call you Freddy? Call me whatever. Have you seen Caillou? I know he's on a mission, I just want to know if he's okay. I haven't, sorry. You're in a clan. I never met a man, who can be so... wicked. Yeah, say more words beautiful. How about you and me use actions than words? Dora. What the actual hell are you doing? Isn't it obvious, I'm doing my job. Pretending to be a prostitute slag. But why? Luring the Bill Clan, duh. Where's Caillou? How should I know? He's getting the nuclear codes. Three queens. Hold it. Three kings. I say, you really are a good opponent. What did you say your name was? Just call me Lou. I'm going to cash in my winnings and get more chips. Please. Take all the time you need. Hi, I like to cash in all this. Excuse me one moment. Something's not right. I'm rich again. I'm gonna get millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, baby, money. Rosie. I should have expect better from you, underage gambling. What were you thinking? Caillou's over there if you're looking for him. Thanks, Rosie. Carry on. No, oh, 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 oh. 
I lost millions. 20,000 juans on bet. Looks like an interesting game. Yes, it really is. How about we make it more interesting? Oh, really? How can we? I know you got something that I want. And you know what it is. I want those nuclear codes. I got him where I need him. I will bet the nuclear codes. Caillou has taken the fake cars. Eliza and Jimmy, what are the chances of Caillou's win? According to every Lee Shu and Caillou's gaming outcomes, it's neck and neck. I'll take orange juice. But it's an alcoholic bar. With vodka. Being badass, huh? Why are you letting someone underage gamble? It wasn't my intention, but he's doing well. I'm going to stop this. No, Boris. Wait. I bet 30,000 yuan. I bet no more. I too won't bet higher. Please show cars. Sorry to disappoint you, Lou. But... Full house, three queens, two jacks. Get a higher hand than you win. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, Li Shu, but... I got four aces. <laughs> my cards, where are they? Oh my god, why? Well Caillou, cheating is wrong. How did you? I knew who you were five minutes ago. And I believe the nuclear codes are mine. I don't think so. He's stealing nuclear codes. Stop him, get him, after him. Caillou. Boris, run! Wow, thanks a lot, Boris. At least I saved you from the thugs. I didn't need it to be saved. I can handle things on my own. Hurry up, you idiots. Be right with you, Li Shu. Rosie, we got the codes. Let's go. Rosie can't leave. I'm about to put in my last yuan in the machine. I don't have time to talk about your gambling addiction. We need to go, now. I, 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 Caillou. Run, Rosie. Freddy, get the young ones and get back on the plane. Where's Caillou and Rosie? He was behind me. There. Oh my god, my children. Let's get out of this joint. Dora. Caillou. Are you okay? I'm fine. You got the codes. It's all here. I'm done with being a slag for one day. Let's get out of here. This is so boring. Why do we have to wait on the plane? I hope something bad hasn't happened. At least they aren't running and shouting start the plane after nearly getting shot. Start the plane, start the plane. Start well, that can't be good. Plane. Tracy, start the plane. I don't know how to start a plane. Crying out loud. I thought you knew how to start in case things go wrong. I lied. I just wanted to be at the front of the plane. Are you joking? This is a matter of life and death here. If the mayor goes, we all go. What do I press? Just press anything. I did it. Okay, I'm here. Good job, Tracy. Let's fly away. We're safe. I thought I lost you, Caillou. And I thought I lost you. Let's never go to Shanghai again. Agreed. Next stop, Paris. What the? What was that? Have a safe landing. Ha 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 ha. What on earth was that? Oh no. The wings are damaged. Hang on, people. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's been 18 hours since they left. No contact, no word of safety. I'm sure they are all right. It's strange. Yesterday our children were just having a normal day. 
and then the next they are gone, well, who knows where. My girls were taken by secret agents, and our city is under dictatorship. What more can they take from us? Doris. Are you okay? No. I'm all alone. Listen, Doris. I know things are tough for you, I mean it's tough for all of us. But... I know for certain that they will come home. All I want is a sign. A sign that they are safe. Bina. What is it? A voice message. From the vice mayor's plane. The vice mayor. The vice mayor was rushed out to safety. Why do we have contact with him? It's obvious. The vice mayor is in a safe place and so are our kids. Then that would mean... Our kids are safe with the vice mayor. They're alive. Well, well, isn't this cozy? Get out of my house. You know it's rude to not invite the king to your home. How about I punch your royal ass to Timbuktu? You're not my leader. Mayor Dinkle was, and soon Vice Mayor Farsi. I like a woman who is brave. I like you. What are you doing here, you psychopath? Good question, Marianne. I am looking for a specific people. And you know who I am talking about. So? Where are they? We don't know. Just leave us alone. You know what? Why bother? They've probably been taken somewhere safe by authorities. No matter. I'll search on my... My master, our Shanghai unit is down. I repeat, our Shanghai unit is down. What the hell? What happened to my Shanghai unit? What's wrong, your majesty? Is your empire crumbling? Actually, no. I got big plans. I'm not staying in this dump for long. I bid you good day. Now playing voice recording from the vice mayor recorded today at 8.25 a.m. Don't look at me, I didn't press anything. Okay, my finger slipped a bit. I need my oil for my hands, okay? Did that voice message say Vice Mayor? No. Give me the phone. I said. Give me the phone. I did it. Okay, I'm here. Good job, Tracy. Let's fly away. Let's never go to Shanghai again. Agreed. Next stop, Paris. What the? What was that? Oh no. The wings are damaged. Hang on people, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Well, that's promising. Lee shooted me proud. You have no cell. Why thank you. Tara will show you to your new cells for treason. Up you get ladies. Freddy. Freddy wake up. Ouch. Well that fall was lucky. Is everyone okay back there? Dora are you okay? That was awesome. Can we do that again? No. no. You got to be kidding me. Problem Lieutenant? It's Lieutenant Ubaldingas. The plane's wings are damaged. So we need to find some parts. Yeah, a question. Where exactly are we? Please tell me this isn't happening and we're lost somewhere in Asia. My GPS watch says that we are in a place called... Sulawesi, Indonesia. Is there a village nearby to get parts? Yeah, I mean, we got places to be, like Paris. It's not going to be easy considering we are in a jungle, but GPS shows the nearest village is a 6 miles walk. Let's go! 6 miles? Can I just die instead? Come on, Candace. No time to lose. Sabrina would want you to succeed. You're right. Wait for me, guys. Well, here we are. Just over this bridge is the village. We are going to die. Rosie is not going on that bridge. They are right. The bridge is nearly on the point of collapsing by the width of the ropes, the age of the wood and... Guys, it's safe. 
Are you coming or are you all too chicken? Too chicken? I'm not. You who? Who here? You want dry outfits? Young one, would you like hair braided? Come here, lady. Yes, you. See anything you like from this shelf? My friend's jet wings are damaged. Is there a spare part to smooth our flight to Paris? Wings? No. I want chicken wings. Caillou. Plain wings, my boy. Under flights in my stock, I have a bag of earth. Did you know that you can put earth into your flying machines as fuel? It works for manure, soil, and sand, as it is a part of earth itself. Yeah, we don't want that crap. Where's our wings? But funny enough, we have something that might replace the wings. This Sonic Boom H628 model. It is used for surfboards, but can be used for flying machines too. That's better than what I was thinking. Thank you. Hey guys, we can go to Paris. Oh my god. Look at me, I'm Punjab. Ha 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 ha. Caillou, you do look like Punjab. Oh my god, racism? I can't believe it took us two hours to fix this. We are wasting time. Shall I give word to go on board? I'm afraid so. Everybody, we are ready to go to Paris. Move it. It's about time. Yes, 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 yes. Well, she's more excited when I'm horny. What are you guys waiting for? Okay, everybody. Next stop, Paris. Get out of our city. We want freedom. We want his head. People. We shall rebel and take back our city from the hands of little Bill. Vanessa. We support you. Look at them out there. A bunch of wild animals. Always ruining things. In just two days we will get rid of that pest problem. Plotagon City will be crumbling down to my knees, and soon, the world. Terra. Give us a few minutes. <laughs> Whatever. Come to see me as a successful man father. What you're doing is wrong. You call it wrong, I call it power. You know what power does to a person? It plunges them into pure darkness. Yeah, I don't need dad lessons from you. Are you with me dad, last chance? No. You're not my son, not anymore. What a shame. Tara. Yes your highness. Take my dad to prison. He is grounded. Forever. You won't get away with this. Goodbye. Father. Lieutenant, permission to ask a question? Granted. Do you have hots for the vice mayor? What? No. Already married? No. I'm a sexual. I will forever be an independent woman. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out the window, we are now arriving in the beloved city of Paris. We're here. Hello, Claude. Freddy, what does surprise me, friend? Claude, who are you talking to? Ah, uh, Freddy, my sugar babe. Yes, yes, it's me, Chloe. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, hey, that's my boyfriend, you skank. Dora, that's how the French kiss. Whatever, as long as she stays away from him. Hello, Lieutenant Darla from the Californian State Agency. Thank you for letting us stay. This hotel is really outstanding. Mercy, mercy. If you want a tour of Paris, let me and Claude know. You know what? Not a bad idea. Can we tour tonight? We, oui, madam. Okay, listen. For this mission, we need Miguel, Tracy, and Candace. I will do my best. I suppose. <laughs> 
Lieutenant, a word? Sure. What is it? I don't think I can do this mission. What do you mean you can't? Why not? I don't want to kill people. Well, sorry. I don't care about your feelings. If you back out, you will go straight back to prison. You know what they do to Mexican guys in American jails? I rather that than murder another soul. But I appreciate your efforts, Miguel. I really do. Does that mean I'm off mission? No, it doesn't. Candace, you will lead this mission. I have my faith in you to do the right thing. This is for my daughter, like Boris said. When the mission is successful, meet us at the top of the Eiffel Tower, where we will dispose the codes and supplies. Got it. Thank you. Right. Let's wander through Paris. At last. Oh my god. Is that our transportation? Yes, Rosie. Lieutenant, this is generous. Thank you, Boris. After what happened in Shanghai, it's the very least I can do. I feel so rich. Those were the good old days with Warbucks's mansion. I feel like a queen. Where do we go first, guys? Notre Dame, Louvre Museum, Art de Triomphe? Actually, I already got something in mind. Seriously? What the hell, you mental woman? It's Paris, so live it. My dear, Paris is not about stealing, it's about the atmosphere in life. So, look around. Welcome, my friend, to Paris. He have a flower for me. Forget where you're from. You in friends, children, come. I'll show you the friend to other people. He holds the key to your heart. And you love how he's made of heart. You so true by two. The world we can love And soon all power will be singing to you. Oh la la, oh la la, oh la la, I will hold the key to la war, and all the pro know the cure, there's love in the air, and the fully bed air, the friends have it down to an eye, I holds the key to your heart, oh la la. Okay, Miguel. Have you got the gun? Yes, but Candace. Say no more, I have my faith in you. Tracy, hear what they are saying in there. Got it. Little Bill asked for all crops in France to belong to him. That will be easy. Just one message and our French forces will attack all crops in France and gradually towards all crops in Europe. I think we should go in there now. Alright, kick the door down. You're not messaging anyone. Okay, Miguel. Shoot. Miguel. Shoot them. What on earth are you waiting for? Kill them. His.
It's a nice view, isn't it? It's your dream come true, Dora. I still can't believe I'm here. Listen, back at home. I'm sorry. Dora, don't. Let me say what needs to be said. It's just that, your feud with your dad was because of me. Me? Don't blame yourself, Dora. Can't you see that he is getting to you? What do you mean? Him. Him. He is the reason that you feel that way. He is the reason that we nearly got killed in Shanghai. I just want him to get out of the way just for once and act like a proper father. Caillou, I understand but- I mean what about your mother? She's always grounding you. Yeah but- Then you must get what I'm talking about. He needs to stay away. This isn't about getting grounded, isn't it? What? To be honest, you're scared of losing him. What a load of bull. I never fear anything. Oh really? Why did you keep him away from missions? Because I don't want him to ruin things. No, you did it to protect him. You still care. No! If anything happens, you never get a proper relationship with your dad in the future, like my father. Stop! I haven't seen my dad in six years. But what you're feeling, it's true, isn't it? No! Isn't it? Shut up, you bitch! Dora, I didn't mean- We're in Paris, city of love, I wanted to share this time with you. I thought you'd be better than this Caillou. See you on the plane. Dora. You have to talk to him. So, Paris. Yep. Look how you talk to me. Just go home. You done enough damage. No Caillou. You done the damage. Look where we are now, in Paris fighting for our lives. And fighting for our home. I'm just sick of you not doing your duty as a father. Caillou, why do you think I'm here? To protect you and Rosie. Him. This place. So beautiful. I had dreams of coming here, your mother made a list. I can still remember the order of where she wants to go. London, Tokyo, Sydney, Cancun and Florida. As I recall, she said she wanted to go to Jamaica. Jamaica? I don't think that is on the list. Yes it is. I replaced London with Jamaica and Sydney too. Nebraska. Yes and then she grounded me for two months. Mom was furious. And you weren't there. Hum. But then. You always came to my room. And. Cheered me up. Why can't things go back the way they were? Hey guys. Guess who made it out alive? Week 3. I'm impressed. I thought you'd be dead. How did you manage to survive? Well. I'm out. Oh screw this. Let's throw bombs at them. It was literally easy, though the bombs destroyed the food and alcohol supply so no need to worry. Excellent. Who will do the honors of throwing away the codes? I will do it. Okay, tear it and the wind will do the rest. Thank you. Now? It is time to go home. Come back soon. Of course. Why is Dora and Caillou not sitting together? I don't know. They were arguing at the Eiffel Tower. Okay, everybody. Last stop, Plotagon City, to stop Little Bill, once and for all. What a nice afternoon walk. Tara? Where are you? Here, what a walk. We got to save our energy for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. The day Plotagon City ends. Look at all this smoke around the city. Very depressing, I like it. Everything is going according to plan. Question, I don't know how to put it but why destroy the city? Are you not respecting my choices? Oh god no. What I mean is, 
Is there another way than making a bomb to destroy this city? No! This is the only way. All them fools turn against me, they deserve the crap they get. Yes, your majesty. Sorry, your majesty. Forgiven. Now let's go back to the palace. Your majesty, our Paris unit has been destroyed. I found our food and alcohol supplies destroyed in the fire and our nuclear coast torn up. I don't know where to take it from here. We saw Caillou and the gang leaving Paris and is on their way to Plotagon City right now. Please be careful, your majesty. No, your majesty, calm down. They are still alive. What the actual hell? Oh no. Right. Get missiles forces online and shoot the plane out of the skies. Yes, your majesty. Terra. Make sure they get target missiles. The missiles that never miss. Right. Listen up. We need missiles to destroy incoming plane to Plotagon City. Yes, General Terra. Attention everybody. We are nearly entering the Americas. What is that? He knows we're here. Attention, attention, little Bill has sent missiles. Put your seatbelts on now. Missiles. I think I'm gonna. Ah, 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 ah. My dad fainted. Door. Ah, 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 ah. Stop the missiles. Stop the missiles. Ah, uh, uh, Lieutenant. Bill Clan, listen. Stop the missiles now. Should we send more? Yes, my friend. Show them no mercy. No one is answering. Everyone, get your parachutes on immediately. We are going to jump out of the plane. I can't do it. Are you all insane? I don't care. Listen to what I am saying. CIA, FBI, we need help over here. Guys. Eliza. Dora. Caillou. I said Dora, go back to your seat. No Caillou. FBI quickly stop these missiles please. There are three adults and eight teenagers on board this jet. The Bill Clan has won. Get your seat belt on now. You care for me, I care for you. Boris just sit down. Everyone needs to embark this plane now. Where is my parachute? You shouldn't have come. Now is not the time. Sit down. No Caillou. Why not? Abort now. You're my hero. Abort now. This time, they won't come back. Freddy? Caillou? Boris? Anyone? Lieutenant. Thank goodness you are alright. What the hell? This isn't Plotagon City. This is a deserted island. This is Indonesia all over again. Where exactly are we? The GPS watch is damaged. I can't make out where we are. We are most likely in Central America. Guys, I found where the plane is. Show us the way. Right. The only thing that is damaged is the fuel tank. Do we have another fuel to get home? When Little Bill's missiles destroyed the fuel tank, it got rid of all the fuel we had to get home. We are stuck on a beach with no resources or materials. Only our toolbox. So, that would mean there is no possible way to get home. Oh no. my god, no. Lieutenant, how are we gonna get home? We won't be able to see our families again. I knew this mission was an absolute bust. Enough. Let's not lose faith here. Guys, has anyone seen Jimmy? Jimmy? Guys, look. Ah, uh, Jimmy. Oh my god, Jimmy? E. Eliza. Yes. Jimmy Bear. I. Love you. 
Of course you love me, I love you more. If only I could have shared a parachute with you. Maybe. It's better that way. You can finish this without me. Don't you dare say that. You're going to be okay, okay? Everything will be fine. Right, guys? Guys. Eliza. His injuries are far severe. What does that mean? No. No. I'm sorry. You're lying. Jimmy. Save. Plata. Plotagon. City. And. The world. Not without you. At least. At least, we got to see the world. One last time. No. No. Jimmy come back. Please come back. Caillou. Are you okay? Are you happy now? I'm sorry? You're wrong. You and the lieutenant are wrong about us. We're no heroes. Yet again you're right, I am whiny, arrogant, immature, and irresponsible. I say that so you can be a better person. You're the terrible person. I nearly got killed because of you. You know what? You're grounded. Excuse me. You can't ground me, I am your father. No you're not. You're a stranger to me. Because of you we can't get home. We are stuck here forever. This isn't the Caillou. The Caillou I knew would know and mischief plan to get out of here. Because my son is a hero of this story. Open your eyes and face facts. I don't live happily ever afters. I don't walk merrily in the fields on a rainbow. And I am not a hero. Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. A long one around the island. Caillou. Can't you see that I want to be there with open arms? It's empty tonight and I'm all alone. Get me through this one. Do you notice I'm gone? Where do you run to? So far away I want you to know that I miss you I miss you so I want you to know that I miss you I miss you so I'm writing again These letters to you on much I know But I'm not sleeping And you're not here If it stops my heart Do you notice I'm gone Where do you run to So far I want you to know that I miss you, I miss you so I want you to know that I miss you, I miss you so I want you to know that I miss you, I miss you so I want you to know that I miss you, I miss you so I'm gone away I'm gone Miguel, back in Paris, you didn't shoot. Why? I just don't want to harm anyone. I just can't.
You harmed my brother. Stop pretending to be a pacifist. Eliza, how many times do I need to say how sorry I am? Miguel, we know it was an accident. At least you didn't kill anyone else. There was a reason I didn't shoot. Miguel. There was a reason I was in prison the first time, Dora. I thought it was a curse given to me by demons. But then I realized, it was something I was born with. Tell the story. Before Donnie. I had a secret first boyfriend. Julio. I met Julio at my old school in Mexico City. He was my world. My best friend. Every day, when I finished school, we used to go get a soda and sit by the swing sets all day. The only thing that was swinging around was my head. Man, he's one in a million. Those were the good old days. I didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve this. One day, I was in trouble with a gang, selling weed, cocaine, any drugs you can think of, you name it. Until Julio found the stash. What is this? How could you Miguel? This is my home. Put it back now. I can't let the guys get me. I'm gonna tell your mom. You ain't telling my mom nothing. My grip was too tight, I thought what I was doing was right. No until I realized the blood and ashes on my hands. What happened? He killed him. Didn't you? What a load of crap. What do you expect? What you would just think you want to play happy couples or maybe fantasizing getting a millionaire's mansion down by Fifth Avenue. I mean seriously, look at us. Normal people play catch in the backyard, people like us Miguel, will never get normal. Oh my god Dora, could you like shut up for 5 minutes? My brother is dead, my boyfriend is dead. I have suffered enough. We've all suffered Eliza. We've all have. Except the lieutenant. She's completely emo. I'm suffering from being around you guys on a deserted island on what is certainly the final day of the world. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Caillou. Welcome back, Caillou. Hey, so have we decided what to do on our final day? This truly is the end, isn't it? I can't believe I'm never going to see my daughter again. Caillou, your shoes are filthy. Oh, what do you know? My shoes are covered in sand, and there's little bits of earth too. Earth. I have a bad news. Did you know that you can put earth in your flying machines as fuel? It works for the earth, soil, and sand, as it is a part of earth itself. Earth? 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 Ha ha ha. I think Caillou started to crack. Earth? This weird Indonesian guy gave us the answer to get home. Is this true? Sand is purified earth, fuel for it would be essential and environmental. But Caillou, there is one problem, the fuel tanker is empty and it only produce oil as fuel. Didn't Jimmy taught you to build flying machines at the science fair? Surely you can build an environmental fuel tank. In Jimmy's memory, I'll do it. Lieutenant. Are you with me? Do it. Right, everybody. Grab as much sand as you can. This much Caillou. Get more sand. How's the fuel tank coming along, Eliza? You can't brush perfection. This is not good for my pet cure. Oh my freaking god. The sunrise. Nearly there, guys. Caillou, how can you be so sure it will work? You're gonna have to trust me. This will work. The sand fuel tank is finished. Quick, put it on the plane. 
for extra fuel. Make sure everyone does a poo and a wee on the fuel tank. This is for my daughter. Everybody get on the plane. Rosie is gonna be sick. I swore in Jimmy's memory this will work. I will be disappointed if it don't work. Mind if I sit with you, Eliza? I guess so. Let's do this. Together. Okay, turn it on. Engine on. Ready, everyone? Ready? Three. Two. One. One. We're flying. Caillou, it worked. You did it. You really did it. No. We did it. Now, let's kick some build plan ass. Hello, Jenny. Caillou, what are you doing? Saving the world for starters. Who are you and what have you done to Caillou? Hello, everybody. You may know me as Caillou. Or Caillou the Baldo. Or Galu. Or Hard Boiled Caillou. Just get to the point. Sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry for all the things I done to you in the past. I want to make a clean slate. I want you to help us get rid of the Bill Clan once and for all. And we can't do it on our own. We need all your help, the people of Plotagon City. We to present the future of this city, we will tell our next generation that we stopped little Bill and his army taking over the whole world. So what do you say? Who will join us? You stink well that was humiliating i'll take it from here caillou right everyone listen up this will be instead of class today now kick my boyfriend's son's ass thank you jenny caillou you need to know that your mom is in prison my mom's in jail doris is in prison yes and so are the other moms and my boyfriend that's it. Let's march to Town Hall. Candace, I need you to go to the prison and release our moms, and everyone else. Yes, Caillou. What has Little Bill done to this place? He totally trashed it. Do you suppose his army knows we are- Surprise! Ah! Uh... Everybody marching now. This is a nightmare. Who's the parents of these kids? Mom. Mom. Hey you. My ass issues have abilities. Mom. Did you hear that? What? Mom. Candace. Mom. Candace. Candace. You're alive. I've been through things. Many things. Wait, is Caillou and Boris here? Yes, yes. Every single one of us is here. Thank you, Candace. Ladies. Let's go. Hey! What are you doing? Run. Tara, set the bomb off. Yes, your majesty. Ten minutes to go. Get off me. Why are you fighting like that? Because we can't freaking fight normally, that's why. Ah, 
Help. Help me. Eliza. Miguel. Thank you. I got to keep my friends safe, right? Should we head for the town hall? Yes, let's move forward. Little Bill. I'm coming for you. Your Majesty, they are coming. The idiots, they failed me. Tara. You are my last hope. I will not fail you, if I don't return. Just to let you know, it was an honor to meet you. You too. Now go. Dora. Mom. What are you doing? It's not safe here. I'm not gonna leave you again. <laughs> Nobody touches my mother, you bitch. <laughs> I had enough of you, time to die. Dora. That bitch needed slapping down. Curse them. They got Terra. But they'll never get me. I'm in control, not them. I have the power. Guards. Guards. No, 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 no. I can't be the only one left. Little Bill. Get out of office immediately. You're finished? You hear me. Finished. Oh, really? Come and get me then. Even as he loses all his supporters, he's not giving up. There is something else. Guys? Kick the door down. Little Bill. Come out. I don't think this is a good idea. I think just let the police handle this. He's literally the only one standing. All the police are gone. We're the only ones to stop him. Stop me? Think again. Well, this is how it ends? This is how it should end. With you behind bars? Or dead rather? Must this end in violence? You know what? I'll make you a deal. I will spare you all. In exchange, I want the vice mayor. Never. No Caillou, he can take me. Freddy no. They gone through all this trouble because to save my life. It's about time I repay the favor. No. No. Let him go. What's wrong Caillou? Feeling a little scared about losing your father. Ha, what a baby. I think I should shoot him right now to end your pathetic misery for a dysfunctional family. I'm not gonna tell you again. Let him go or I shoot, and risk harming your own father. That's Dark Caillou. But, if anyone else wants to take his place, I'd be open for it. Wait. Take me. Annie, don't. Just take me. Let all my friends go. Annie, please don't do this. It looks like we have a volunteer in the arms of King Lil Bill. Promise you will let everyone go as soon I go with you, and not to harm Caillou's dad. I'm a man of my word. I'll make a vow. I, His Majesty King Lil Bill, will let everyone go and I won't harm a finger on Boris. Okay then. Are you okay? I'm okay. I just feel... No 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 no. What the hell have you done? Didn't you see? I shot your father in the foot. But, you made a vow. You promised. Indeed. I said, not to harm a finger on Boris. I never said anything about his foot. <laughs> ha! Missed. Come Annie. Someone help me. Stop! Let her go. Please. Help me, please. Don't let him kill me. Dad. You've never called me that since our argument. Can you stand up? I can stand, but it's not easy. But what are you doing here? Go get him. You're hurt. I'm not leaving. 
Freddy will look after me. Now go. Little Bill's got Emmy. Where's Caillou and my dad? Little Bill. Arms down now. Step aside. Little Bill, surrender to us at will, or we will have no choice but to take serious action. Doesn't scare me. Look. We can talk. You think I'm the kind of person to just talk? Stop this. Just let Annie go. Let me through. Or she dies. There's no point in running, Little Bill. We have police all over the city. There is nowhere you can run now. It's time to give up. You lose. No. You lost control. Shut up! I'm in control, not you. I'm King Little Bill. You will bow before me. I didn't want to do this. Last chance. Don't. If I go down, you go down too. Stop! Caillou. Where is she? Oh my god, no. <coughs> Annie, thank god you're okay. It was horrifying. Caillou. Caillou. Dad, careful your leg. Forget the leg. Are you alright? I think so. Is little Bill dead? I'll check. Finally, take him away. So I guess mission complete? I'm glad this whole thing is over. Ha 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 
Caillou. Boris. Where are you guys? There. <clears throat> Caillou. We did it. We did it. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. They did it. The city is safe. Now you can continue to be a lesbian. Oh my god. I am not a... Oh, screw it. Give me a body bump, man. Oh, right. You will never see daylight again, little Bill. No, 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 uh... Well done, you have successfully completed the mission. Now we must go out separate ways. Not so fast. You said when we complete the mission, you would reward us. Fine, five life sentences off everyone's records. Really? We want an actual reward. I want money, and my dad too. That can be arranged. Any other silly requests or are we done here? I want to be released from prison, to accept as I am. I want to open up a fashion business. A France themed. I want. A non-animal fur coat. Whatever, anyway time for me to go. I bid you good day people. Hey wait. Wait, Lieutenant. Yes? What are you going to do now? It'll be no fun without you. I can't stay long, I have work back in California. I promise to come visit someday. In that case, I bid you good day, Lieutenant. He's dead, isn't he? He was a great person. I'm so sorry. I'm happy that he got to know you. Hey, Caillou. Go to your woman. See you at home, and make sure you get your leg checked out. I will, now go. Um. Hi Dora. Never argue with me again. Baby. You have my word. I love you so much. I love you too, Doris. The world and back. Today's the day. Graduation day. Are you nervous? Who wouldn't be? Are you... Scared? Maybe a little. Look at you the boy with no fear. Hello everyone, welcome to the graduation ceremony. These delightful teenagers made us proud over the years. But... Before we can get to that, there is a few people who need to collect their awards first. Wait, what is Yan about? I won't be giving these specific awards. But our new mayor will, I present to you, Mayor Farsi. Thank you, Jenny. Hello, citizens of Plotagon City, two months ago. This city was under the Little Bill regime for three days. Never have I seen such disaster happen to our city. Well, no more. One student, Jimmy Neutron, died to save us all. We will honor his memory in this city, forever. Today, those who saved our lives are graduating today. I must present them at once. Firstly, Candace Flynn. Candace has a daughter, and that was the reason she saved our city. Well done. Thank you. Mommy. Oh my god, her first words. Next, we have Annie Warbucks who is willing to risk her life to save others from Little Bill's hostage. Congratulations. It was the pleasure.
Tracy Beaker, who has found courage within our team and courage in herself. Well done. I've never been so proud. Rosie Anderson, what can I say? She is a bright girl. She made our team happy when we are down, for that I say. Well done. Next, Eliza Thornberry. She has been through a lot. I admire her strength, and she is also very wise. Congratulations, Eliza. It's a miracle. Dad, it's a graduation. Debbie, shut up. It's her day, not yours. Miguel Rodriguez. A man that defines change and acceptance. You believe what you did was right for the team. So well done. Thank you for sharing my story. Next, Dor Marquez, for her cunning idea of dressing up as a slag to distract the enemies. Well done. <laughs> Lastly, but not least, Caillou Anderson. Now, Caillou. He's possibly the most bravest and exceptionally brilliant person I've ever met in my life. The thing that makes Caillou special is that he will never be feared by something or someone. Him and his father has the most incredible bond of any parent and son I've seen. So for that reason, I bestow Caillou Anderson a gold medal for his services. The Medal of Plotagon City's Honors. You've made it on the honors list, Caillou. I... I don't know what to say. Say nothing. You're a hero. That's my boy. Hey, Dad. Caillou, I'm so proud of you for receiving the Medal of Plotagon City's honors. Nah, just a medal. No deal to me. Are you kidding? You've saved the world. That is a big deal. Actually, the lieutenant shot him. I just tried to save Annie. But still, you deserve the gold medal. I can't believe I'm saying this, but, Caillou, I can't believe you saved the world from Little Bill's gang and shot bad people and received the Medal of Plotagon City's honors. That's it. You are ungrounded forever. You are free to do what you want. I'm ungrounded? Yes. Go. Enjoy yourself. Yes! Oh my god. Thank you. I thought this day would never come. Anyway, I bought you cake. Would you like some? Oh no thanks, I'm on a diet. Stupid Caillou, how dare you spill cake on my brand new shoes. It took me freaking hours to polish this up. You know what, I take it back. You are grounded 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 for life. You are hereby stripped of your medal. Who says so? Me, your father who art in heaven. Your grounding begins. Tomorrow. Everything back to normal. My father, Lord in heaven. Seriously? What the actual fuck? Yeah. Nevertheless, calling it quick.
can let you sideways party on too Ooh, some things we just can't refuse Do you wanna ride me like a cruise? And I'm not trying to lose But you left in the dust Unless I stop by ya You're the sunflower I think your love will be too much Or you'll be left in the dust Unless I stop by Every time I'm walking out, I can hear you telling me to turn around But I put my trust that you won't back down Even if we gotta risk it all right now I know you're scared of the unknown You don't wanna be alone I know I always come and go But it's out of my control Then you left in the dust Unless I stop by Unless I stop by ya You're the sunflower You're the sunflower The sun will come out tomorrow Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow There'll be sun Just thinking about Sorrow till there's none when I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely. I just take off my chin and grin and say, Oh, the sun come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Just a kid who's four Each day I grow some more I like exploring I'm Caillou So many things to do Each day is something new I'll share them with you I'm Caillou My world is turning Changing each day With mommy and daddy I'm finding my way Growing up is not so tough Except when I've had enough Cause there's lots of fun stuff I'm Caillou Caillou, I'm Caillou, Caillou, that's me! <laughs>